Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is video number 88 for learning MS system in Django with React.js. In this video, we are going to implement the pagination system. Okay, so for this, we will implement the next previous pagination. First, uh, at the first step, we will implement the next previous pagination. And maybe in the next or the upcoming video, we will apply the 1, 2, 3 numbering. Okay, so currently we are going to implement next previous pagination which comes default with the Django framework okay so let's see how we can implement okay so first of all we will change the view for this so what I will do I will open the I will open the front end right so this is our front end source and components and we have a all courses right so here we have a all courses right so what we will do here instead of this will let's remove this these things right and then uh, we have uh, this anchor so I will change it to button right so I will make it button here we are right let's remove the href right so let's remove the href and uh, one thing more we will apply the bootstrap icons so bootstrap icons so here we have a bootstrap icons and let's go for the icons where we have this kind of this kind of arrow okay so we'll copy this so before previous we will say uh, left yeah this is fine and after the next we will say right right so let's go for this and let's see that so here we have so next and previous button right so now we need to make working on this so we have total 10 data right so i will divide this in four four uh you know four four uh, uh stack so <clears throat> for this what i will do first of all uh, we need to apply the pagination here okay so let's have a look on the pagination for django framework so they are providing the three kind of pagination page number cursor and limit of pagination so i'm going to use page number pagination okay so you can see the difference and you can see uh, uh, what the other things are doing okay if you want to apply the global then you can just copy this and paste in your settings.py file of your api this will provide the global setting so every time when you load it will fetch 100 results or you may say 10 results whatever you define okay but because i'm going to apply this on the course view so i will cop i will uh, create a class above the above the uh, course list okay so above the course list i will create a class here we are so standard result set pagination okay so here we are so let's create this before before other classes okay so let's create here and let's the page size is 4 and maximum page size will be 4 and this will be the parameter okay so let's uh, make this parameter as it is okay and then set results pagination and uh, don't forget to import this from rest framework pagination page page number pagination right so now i will apply this set result pagination in our course list here okay so this will be pagination class right so this is standard result pagination so what it will do it will fetch only the required data okay so if i'll if i'll paste it here you can see that it is not fetching the data okay so let me show you that why it is not fetching the data so when you are loading this okay so it's fetching the data here you can see that in the response we have lots of data count next previous and the results okay but currently we are accessing only the data right so what we need to do data dot results right then it will show your data right so this will showing the data but only four because we have applied four okay i know that it will uh, break the structure for the home page right but you need to change everywhere wherever you are loading the course you have to change this okay so we need to change this from result dot data dot results right so we need to change everywhere okay so okay so now we have uh, in the this now let's uh, when we click on this it should fetch the next uh, four results and if any next result then it will it should show the next and 
uh, it should show the previous if we have uh, any uh, previous result right so at first it should show only next and then at the last it should show only the previous right so let's uh, work around this okay so this is our base url so whatever the uh, anything when change so this use effect function will run okay so let's do one thing create here two more create here two more sets so first of all we will say next url and then the second one will be previous url right so set next url set previous url right and uh, yes okay and we have uh, this base url course right so here let me show you why we are creating this when you are fetching the data right so you have a full url of the next so we need to change this total url okay so this will be our api url right or you can say just base url okay this fine so this will be base url i'll i'm going to paste it here okay this will be base url now now i'm going to create one more thing one more thing i'm going to create this is our api url say this and set api url right so set you api url and this will be by default this will be by default base url okay and this will be by default empty right so this is our base url uh, uh, api url here we are so by default it will be our base url okay so now when we change this okay so when we click on this we will create a function okay so let's create a uh, create function pagination handler right and in this function what we will do we will pass url right so here we have a url and then we have this function and then we will run this okay we will run this via this url here we are right so let's see now okay so here we have a when we click on this it will load the data accordingly so let's uh, say here we have so we will say on click on click on click pagination pagination handler okay we need to pass the data so how we can pass this data let me show you so this will be our url so url will be our uh, just a minute okay so this is our next url next url right and this will be our previous url on click we will pass previous url okay one more thing we need to do this one right so this is our function so we need to pass this so this will be our previous url okay but at first point previous url is empty so the first point is this when we are loading the page it is fetching the data so in the set course result we will see if if the result dot data if result dot data dot next it means if exist then what we will do we will set the next url what the next url is it will be then this next url okay else else it will be null right it will be null okay so it will be uh, i think every case in every case we have this data okay so we will similarly we will set the previous url right so this will be our previous because whenever you load the page it will show it will give you the three additional things count total count next and previous right so this is our previous set previous url here we are okay so <coughs> uh set previous url i think we don't need this this kind of thing we have just base url and we can work with base url uh, yes we can work with base url so here we have a by default it will be fetch data from base url and if next exists then add this next and add this previous url i think let's uh, set this don't need to check the if condition because every time we have the data right so next previous and total results right 
and when we click on this when we are clicking on this we will do the same thing but the difference is difference is we are setting this from here we are setting this from data and here we are setting this from the parameter because when the parameter will be work right so set next url set previous url okay one more thing here pagination handler okay so when we are clicking on this when we are clicking on this this is uh, our next url so when we are clicking on this okay so here we are when we are clicking the passing the url okay this is the, our url okay and uh, this is our url and we just need to pass this okay we need we also need to fetch the okay so we are passing just the url and from the response uh, this is fine this is fine right this is fine we just need to pass this url uh, yes okay so how we can okay so we are passing here the next url and the previous url and by default it will fetch from here okay so let's see this so currently it is showing both so when we are clicking on this okay pagination handler we have this is our pagination handler next url we are passing here just check me the next url previous url and when we are clicking on the pagination handler we are trying to get the data set the course data and uh, everything is fine okay so base url we have base url is this and url is this pagination handler so everything sh is fine okay so when we are clicking on this it should where it is fetching the data then okay one more thing if we have uh, if previous url exist then we will show this right and similarly if next url exists then we will show the next button right so here we are and let's show the next next url right so when we are clicking on this it should uh, pagination handler let's see okay so everything is fine this is our url by default this is space url yes and uh, here we have a pagination class okay so let's see now so when we are clicking on this okay this is not changing the data mm -hmm. let's see set course data data dot results okay let's see in the console we are doing something but we are doing something wrong okay let's refresh this and each child list uh, nothing okay click on this type error we are doing something here we are the pagination handler this is our url uh, this is fine is this catch function this is our parameter this is our use effect use state set previous url set next url data let's check uh, okay okay so by default we have this uh, just a minute uh, this is our api so by default next and previous so by default it will set the next and previous url data dot next data dot previous it's fine data dot next data dot previous okay and when we click on the when we are clicking on the button on click pagination handler previous url next url okay so here we have a next url okay when we click on this when we are clicking on this let me check the url for this here we are and this is our okay it's not showing here okay let me show this then next url here we are 
okay next url this is next url set next url constant yeah everything is fine but why this is not showing the next url okay refresh this page no let's say title equal to next url okay okay so we have here okay this is not showing the next url oh we are doing something wrong here in the next we have to pass next and this should be previous url right so in the next we are passing the previous so that it was null when we click on this it will fetch the data previous is previous is appearing now click on this only next 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 and previous is here right so everything is working perfectly so uh, for the home page right for the home page if i open the home page here home we have to as pass this as dot results right so because this is popular courses popular teachers no we no need okay now let's go for the home page home page we have okay everything is fine popular courses okay popular courses are currently coming from the function not from the directly serializer this is coming from the custom json uh, in translation custom uh, json transferring okay so this is we don't need to add uh, results okay so here we have a flask and uh, where we are going okay so popular courses when we click on this latest course it will show the next previous pagination right similarly uh, i will suggest you to apply on the popular courses it is also showing the popular courses right here we are so i'll suggest you to please apply the pagination on this same okay so we will see okay so if you have any comment then please let me know and i hope you have learned how to apply the pagination on the how to apply the simple pagination which comes default with the django with the in the react js right so one more thing uh, we have this all courses one more thing we need to do i am going to create a function here uh, let's say fetch data and in this we will pass the url right and i will add this whole function here right and i will click on this function and let's say we will say url right and we will do the same thing here so in our in this case it will be base url so by default it will be base url and when we click on the pagination then it will be fed the another data right so let's check this click here so previous next next right so everything is working okay so thank you so much for watching this video let's see in the next video okay so maybe uh, it's uh, we are very near to complete this uh, course complete this project and in the next uh, let me know about the next project please add your comments uh, add your thoughts about the next project so that we can start right and uh, i will soon start the react native app with the django rest api right so let's see and uh, yeah thank you so much for watching this video please share this video and uh, subscribe this channel and uh, you can also uh, i will appreciate your support you can support me via razor pen paypal and i am uploading all the code on github so i will just uh, you know your small appreciation and just give me your send me your email id and i will give you the access of this uh, repository okay so thank you so much for watching this video thank you